Hey guys, welcome to another video. I really appreciate you joining today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the Lake Murray Endurance Run that I did this weekend at uh, Lake Murray State Park. We were actually, actually started from the Dukes Forest Campground. Uh, lake Murray State Park is a beautiful state, I mean a beautiful lake and a state park that's just south of Ardmore, Oklahoma about an hour and a half north of where I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. The race is put on by Blaze Trails Running. It's a great organization. The owners of Blaze Trail are Chris and Ann Barnwell. They, they put on some great races. They put on several in uh, North Texas and uh, Lake Murray in Southern Oklahoma. Uh, a couple down, one down in Central Texas. But anyway, they put on a lot of great races. Uh, as usual, this is my this is my race T-shirt. It's the nice soft uh, blend T-shirt that they they always have. It's it's wonderful. I love sleeping in their shirts. They're just extremely comfortable. Um, the uh, they offered races of distances of five miles, twenty five k, fifty k, one hundred k, and one hundred miles. Uh, this was my first time out to this race. It was gorgeous out there. Uh, I had planned originally to go and run the 50K there, but after my fall about four weeks ago um, at the Knob Hills Trail Race, where I injured myself, I injured my finger and my arm, uh, I decided to drop down to the 25K. I guess I'm becoming a little bit more nervous about really hurting myself on the trails. Uh, I think I'm not quite as nimble and I don't recover quite as well. Well, that played a little bit into this race. Um, so I was signed up for the 25K. I had planned to go down on Friday night and spend the night camping at the campground. Uh, it turned out we ended up with a ton of rain on Friday and it was gonna rain until Saturday morning, probably four or 5 a.m. according to the forecast. So I decided not to go camp out. Uh, and there were also some messages on Facebook that the spots you could get that were higher that weren't in the water were pretty well about all full, filled up. There was only like one left as of noon on Friday. So I didn't really want to go set up a, a tent in, in standing water and and uh, try to spend the night. So I just decided it's only an hour and a half drive. I would get up Saturday morning and drive up there. Uh, I drove up there. Uh, it was raining on me actually the first uh, 45 minutes of the drive and then the second half uh, it was dry as I got to the state park. I got there, um, we actually had beautiful weather for the race. Uh, we stayed in the 50s, I think it was the low 50s when we started, it maybe got up into the 60s during the day. It was gorgeous weather and we actually, uh, today, today the sun's back out but yesterday it was pretty much overcast the whole day which actually made it pretty ideal. Uh, even if the sun had come out much yesterday, uh, the trails that you run through at this at Lake Murray are so heavily treed that it would be nice to run on even in the summer because you're going to get a lot of shade. And it was beautiful out there. Uh, the course is known for having a bit of roots and rocks. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like super high on the difficulty uh, scale, but there, there are definitely some roots and rocks. And with the rain, there was a lot of mud. Um, Again, I was a little bit nervous for my fall from four weeks ago and the fact that I'm not quite as uh, agile as I was. So I kind of went into it. I didn't really need to have a big performance, wasn't really planning to. So uh, I kind of decided beforehand that I was just going to take it real easy, be cautious and try not to fall. <laughs> uh, so I ran into a couple of my friends that are, they're not big trail runners, but they run a lot of marathons. They're good friends of mine. Uh, Rhonda and Ross. Uh, Rhonda actually doesn't run a lot of trail runs partly because she has Parkinson's disease that sh she's amazing. She's had it for, was diagnosed about 25 years ago, but she keeps moving every day. She's done well over a hundred marathons and a few ultras, um, mostly on the road because she has to be very careful on the trails because she has to pay attention with each foot strike to make sure she's not going to trip over something. Uh, anyway, she was out there and I decided to just 
her and Ross, good friends, I decided to stick with them because I knew they would be a little more cautious and not go too fast. And uh, we took off together. Uh, it was actually very nice being with them because they uh, I had conversation. It was a very nice visit. And I had someone to go with. Uh, we started off doing a run walk, but soon it became uh, either muddy or rocky or rooty. Most places we, we didn't get in a lot of running. We were more just hiking. And uh, so we just kind of settled into a hike, but uh, we're really enjoying the day. It was still beautiful. I will say I got about six miles in and my lower back started bothering me. Uh, I actually have uh, spinal stenosis. I was in my lower back that I was uh, diagnosed with several years ago, but I have found that as long as I keep doing exercises and try to keep my core fairly strong, it, it really doesn't bother me. Well, after my injury four weeks ago, I really fell off on that. I was not doing any of my exercises. Uh, I probably could have still done core exercises, but I usually like to get my core in by, by doing my kettlebell work because it kind of will give me some strength training and, and some core work, and, and I wasn't doing that. Anyway, between that, I think, and the uneven ground and all the mud, uh, my lower back started really bothering me. Uh, I got to about eight miles and I started having trouble even leaning a little bit, and my back was really hurting. And it got worse and worse as the day got on, uh, went on. Um, I, uh, I slowed down a lot. Uh, we did get separated from Rhonda probably nine or 10 miles in. She got ahead of us. Uh, I think it, it happened when uh, Ross offered me uh, actually an ibuprofen. I, I don't normally take those during endurance events, but I decided to take one because I was really hurting. Uh, I just drank a lot of water with it. But when we stopped to do that, Rhonda got ahead and, and we never, we didn't see her again until the finish line. But uh, Ross stuck with me. Um, I kept slowing down and, and you'll see in the, my video that I'm gonna do when I start talking at 15 miles, I'm like leaning off the screen because I started uh, leaning to the side a lot um, and my back was just really in pain. But I got to the finish. Um, I said before it that my real goals were just to get around and not get hurt. Not, try not to fall and to finish and and I did accomplish those things so it was good uh, I've never finished uh, DFL uh, last in a race before uh, I thought this was going to be the time I was very close there was one woman behind me and Ross actually finished officially behind me he could have finished ahead of me easily but he refused to leave me <laughs> and he kept staying behind me and saying oh, I'm just trying to keep up with you but he was really just watching to make sure I was okay and so I crossed the finish line just ahead of him and then that one other lady but other than that I was at the very back of the race uh, I actually ended up hiking the 25k uh, it took me over six hours uh, I have finished multiple 50ks in less time than that but um, it was okay it was still a nice hike it was a beautiful day out and I got to visit with people um, the pain in my back, I had a lot of people, friends that were at the finish line that came up to me and were asking me what was wrong and I was just telling them my back was a problem and there was one lady that came up and said, oh, you look like you have rhabdo and I'm like, no, no, I'm still still able to urinate, it's still clear, I, 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 my legs were fine, I really didn't feel that bad other than my back was really hurting my lower back and I was leaning to the side. Um, I was able to get in the car and drive home without any issue and by the time I got home I was able I was standing up straight and no problem like that I'm, I'm still a little sore in the lower back so I'm not really gonna run today I may walk a little bit later but um, anyway it was interesting so now we will have uh, I wanted to show this is the medal I received at the race very nice medal for Lake Murray uh, this was my number uh, I'll show some video from the race. Um, it was it again. It was beautiful out there. You will get to see some of the mud, and you'll get to see me leaning around mile 15. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the footage. Uh, sorry for rambling on so long. Uh, I hope you're having a great week.
Anytime you run into these, you're going to want to follow. Okay? Now, we have confidence markers out on the course that are pink, and they look like these different kinds of things. It's none of y'all going to be out there at night. You don't have to worry about the reflective stuff, but it, but they're all they're all pink out there. Now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm out here on the Lake Murray 25K course. It is very muddy today. There's a lot of rain yesterday and overnight. And it's fairly rocky and rooty. And I'm a little bit chicken after my fall four weeks ago. So I found a couple of my friends. And we're pretty much just hiking the 25k. Uh, I'm with Rhonda and Ross. And there are little places to run, but it's pretty much on the downhills and the uphills where it's not so muddy. And then we're watching our footing a lot, so we have pretty much just fallen into walking. So it's going to be a very slow 25k but it is very pretty out here so it's a nice day for a walk and visiting with friends uh we're about four miles in right now oh mentally i'm just like cool let me set back No. They're really cute unless we slip and fall on them. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> painful. Painful. They are cute, though. Everything should be cute out here, but it isn't cute at all. No, it's not. Ooh. This is so much worse than it was earlier this morning. Uh, yeah, I think it's really all the people on it. Yes. Like, I had to redo stuff, and I was like, this was not this bad earlier. Because yeah. nobody had done that. Yes. Yeah, I was thinking, Chris talking about a lot of it's runnable, and I'm like, okay, well, he was out here when there hadn't been a lot of people over. and, like, there are good portions runnable. Yeah. But then there's also, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, what's up, what's up, I'm all right, I'm all Rhonda right. Rhonda went down. <laughs> I, don't, I got a tree. I'm on to a Thank you. Thank you. Oh, honey. <laughs> to a water stop, because I thought he said we went past the water stop. Okay, this is my friends Ross Hi. and Rhonda. She's killing me. Uh, We've been hiking this together today. Oh, she's killing me. Oh. <laughs> See how pretty it is here by the water, though. Isn't that beautiful? Look how, look how beautiful the water is. And just remember, we paid to do this. Yes. Oh, Rhonda, can you wait? Okay, guys. So we're at about mile 15, almost done. My back started bothering me around mile six. It's gotten progressively worse. So I'm moving really, really slow. I run 50Ks faster than I'm doing this 25K. But uh, we're less than a mile from the finish, so I'm at least going to get there. Anyway. Ugh. <sighs> 